fine ground. Now, what you just saw was my reaction in 2014 to the first time I tasted Glen Farkless 17. For some reason, it took me until now, 2019, to actually have the bottle in front of me ready to do a video about it. So far tonight, I started with the Weiser's 15 year old, which was much more delicious than I expected it to be. Then I had a Two Brewers release 07 from September of 2017, which is beautiful. It's like a Del Monte fruit cup and then some peat at the end. It's just a it's a beautiful whiskey. It's I I loved it. Then I went and had a pull from this guy, which is my Speyside Infinity bottle. So I've had three drams so far. Now the reason that I had a pull from my Speyside because it's almost full, and I got to make some room for some of this. This is the Glen Farkless 17, which I'm going to do tonight. I have, uh, the last time I had Glen Farkless 17 was in 2014, and now it's 2019, so it's been a while. I got this bottle last year. Finally, I had gone past it so many times. I had gone past it so many times, but my friend Mike at the liquor store kept telling me, nah, you don't want to waste your money on that. You don't want to waste your time on that. It's, it's ex yeah, you know, it's $124.99. So $125. So um, the liquor tax on that is, uh, is, is $12.50. And the, um, the goods and services tax is uh, $6.25. So six dollars and twenty-five cents, and another twelve dollars. It's like, it's like an extra twenty dollars. It's like a hundred and forty-four dollars or so, or hundred forty-five dollars out the door for this stuff. And I've never even had it out of the tube. So for my fourth dram tonight, I'm gonna finally, at long last. Sorry about the noise. I'm going to try, at long last, the Glen Farkless 17 from a full bottle. Uh, somewhere over here, I have a Glen Cairn glass that is clean. Yes, I do. Right here it is. Well, it's a knockoff. It's the one from Canadian Club that uh, says Canadian Club, and it doesn't have a, it doesn't say Glen Cairn in the bottom, but that's okay. It's approximately the right shape. There's the little tab. Oh, I broke the tab. Oh no. And when the foil digs in underneath your fingernail, it's a little bit painful, but I got the top off. Okay. This is the Glen Farkless 17, my friends. Gentle pop. Clean glass, Glen Farkless 17. Here we are, the fattest point of the glass. Now, I told you what I paid for this already, so I won't have to do that again. This is the Glen Farkless 17. Now, what does it say about it here? Oh, there's a bunch of writing on the tube. I might as well read it. It says, 
This is not just a bottle of 17-year-old Highland malt. It is the result of over 170 years of tradition and experience of secrets carried and nurtured through six generations of my family here in the heart of Speyside. Woohoo! Many have wondered at the origins of the unique taste of Glen Farkless. Some believe the secret lies in the tumbling waters of the green burn married with fresh highland air. Others believe it is our great copper stills which continue to be direct fired and some believe the secret is my family's uncompromising commitment to maturing Glen Farkless in the best oak casks in traditional dunnage warehouses. Wherever the secret lies, we invite you to share in enjoying the savoring and savoring Glen Farkless. Uh, John L.S. Grant, product of Scotland. Yeah. This is the real thing, right? Uh, there we are. 43% alcohol by volume. It's uh, 100, it's 700 milliliters, I believe. Yes, it is, 700 milliliters. So that, that shorts you one dram compared to the American or Canadian size uh, 750. At 50 mils is one whole dram less. But you know what? We're not going to quibble over such mild things right now. Uh, you know what? It smells a lot like my reaction at the very beginning of this video. I get uh, some orchard fruits like uh, apples. Like Granny Smith apples. I get some grapes. Granny Smith apples and grapes. Mmm. Forty three per cent alcohol by volume. I'm getting medium fruits and orchard fruits. The apple note is really, really prevalent here. It's like cider almost, and I would have expected a little bit more uh, sherry, a little bit more uh, darker fruits, but this is like plums and there's a bit of sultanas, you know, the, the light colored raisins, but it's a, uh, it's like fresh fruit. It's not like dried fruit. It's not like ripe fruit. Well, yeah, ripe fruit, but fresh fruit, not dried and, and aged and uh, smells nice. Smells nice and fruity. Let's uh, go for an initial taste. I'm getting a bit of a chocolate milk. Chocolate and vanilla. Definitely chocolate and vanilla. Like vanilla ice cream. It's very nice. 
along with the chocolate. It's like dark chocolate, like like dark bitter chocolate rather than the, the milk chocolate, rather than the sweet milk chocolate that I like a lot. Ooh, wet my whistle. Gotta have some more water. Gotta pour some more water. Oh my goodness. This is, after all, my fourth drama of the night. And I ain't feeling no pain. It's been uh, a couple hours since I started. Did I mention what I had already? I think I may have done so. This is nice and palatable. There are younger Glen Farklesses that don't have so much orchard fruits. They just have more of that sherry, heavy dark sherry. I'm getting some caramel now. There's some caramel on the palate along with those orchard fruits, which is really nice. Am I getting any vanilla? Let's see. This is delicious stuff. But I have here something else. This has been sitting there under the bar for a while. This is a Glen Farkless 15. This is one of my favorites. Uh, it says the same things on the back of the tube as it did on the tube for the 17. The uh, tube is darker for the uh, for the 15 and that's probably because it's bottled at a higher alcohol content. This one has been under my bar for a while too, but this is one of my favorites. I've had this several, a few times. I've had four or five bottles of this already. Ah, and I love it. I love the Glen Farkless 15. Now I'm going to do a little bit of a comparison and see how this stacks up with the Glen Farkless 17, which I guess the 17 is a watered down version. Oh, wait, this is my space side. <laughs> okay, let's try this other glass. This glass has nothing in it right now, so I think it's uh, safe to pour some of the 15 in there. Okay, all right, Glen Farkless tonight. I opened two bottles of Glen, Glen Farkless. I think I'm celebrating. Because I just had my best week ever of driving cab in Victoria. I had my best week ever. It snowed. And the snow makes everybody panic. And I just cleaned up. I did get stuck a few times, but I made more money in the last week than I ever did in any week that I drove cab in 26 years. And did I mention that Valentine's Day was my 26th anniversary of driving cab? Oh, right away in vanilla. Vanilla, vanilla, vanilla in the, in the 15. It's got to open up a little bit, maybe. But, wow. My friends, two Glen Farklesses. 
17 and 15. Oh, yeah. And my space side infinity. Ah. Oh. Mm. The freaking delicious. So now, what have we got in the 15? Definitely Sherry. Caramel. Fruitiness. Taste. There's a bit of a sulfur thing going on here, like matches that have just been striked or stricken or struck. Um, you don't get that in the 17, which is the one over here. No, here you just get orchard fruits. And some caramel, some vanilla, and it's pleasant. Mm. The 17 is very nice. Very, very nice. I'm getting some caramel and some maraschino cherries towards the end. And the 15, which before now has been one of my favorites. Yeah, there's a bit of sulfur, but it's not off-putting at all. Oh. It's richer, it's thicker, it's got more alcohol. How can you hate this stuff? Um, that's about a hundred and ten dollars, hundred twenty with the taxes, if I can still find it. When I find Glenn Farkless 15, when I see it on the shelf, I grab it. Just because it made such a big impression on me when I first tried it some years ago. The 17 is nice, yes. It's kind of a sanitized version of the 15. The 15 just has a higher alcohol content. And as far as I know, it's um, uh, both of these drams are delicious. The 15, if you look at it, this one is a little darker than the 17. It definitely is a little darker. The 15 is darker. Now, does that mean that it has had... There's no... As far as I know, there's no 
chill filtering and no coloring. The Spirit of Independence, conforklos.co.uk. As far as I know, they do not uh, they do not add coloring to their whiskies. Glenn Farkless. Because they use sherry casks in the maturation. And those give enough color to the spirit as it goes. Yeah, it's a little darker, the 15, than the 17. Oh, excuse me. In that burp, I got sherry. I got uh, I got a little bit of sulfur from the 15, but sulfur doesn't bother me. It doesn't put me off. I like this stuff. I love this stuff. Ah. These are fine drams. Well, I like both of them a lot. And uh, do you prefer it darker and stronger or a little lighter and still really delicious? Glenn Farkless 17 and 15. I, I think they're both winners. At least they are in my book. So, um, Slanchava. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>